early morning and it's actually quite gorgeous. Overcast, chance of rain for the next maybe four days. Uh, and as you can see, my tomato bushes have kind of taken over the garden. And when I came out to check this morning, I noticed I got some red little guys. And then I noticed three um, that were on there that were still green. And they look like they've been munched on. I'm like, hmm, who's been munching on my tomatoes? And so I looked a little closer. And as I looked a little closer, I saw that there was some actual munching going on right now. And I don't know if you can see this guy. Um, but this is a tomato worm. So on this stick right here, and he's currently munching on my tomato. Uh, and he's, like, he's beautiful. And I know I'm probably supposed to say, ah, spray him with pesticides. But you guys, he's beautiful. Um, is he gonna have babies and make a lot of, uh, offspring that are gonna destroy my tomato garden? I don't know. I don't know. But right now, as I look around in this garden, he's the only uh, sort of pest I see. Uh, the, the tomatoes, I should have, you know, lesson learned, I should have staked them a little bit better earlier. Uh, we're using pieces of old bedpost uh, to get them staked up. Here's my eggplant, and I have never grown an eggplant before. I said, what the heck, let's grow it. And he, look, he's so cute. Oops, he's coming. And so these were just flowers getting pollinated by all the bees. Uh, here is my okra. I've never grown okra before. A uh, little okra guy right here. Um, this growing up my trellis, and I really love this idea. So next year my plan already is I want to grow the squash uh, vertically and then maybe up even over top. So this trellis is a lemon cucumber. I have no idea what a lemon cucumber is. This trellis is a uh, Boston pickling cucumber and you can see the baby pickle right here. Um, I just picked, the, I've gotten three pickles, giant ones so far. Here are my beans super cute. I planted all these beans here and again next year uh, be a little bit more conscious and better. I like to just throw things down, experiment, and learn from that. Um, yellow squash and there's kind of two varieties here uh, and I haven't really discovered like how big they're supposed to get, when am I supposed to harvest them, so that's a work in progress. And then of course zucchini, zucchini, um, coming over here, again, I learned my lessons. So when um, my dad and I found this bookshelf in one of the barns, and so we turned it into a garden bed, and that is a cucumber that I already built the trellis for. These, I planted peanuts. And when I planted the peanuts, uh, they would get germination. And so there's a guy coming up, and there's a guy coming up. Chase, get out of there. Oh, Chase just stepped in my peanut. Come on. Um, over here in this garden, uh, I've got some peppers. I've got some more peppers. I've got some watermelon growing. And this guy took a real hard hit when I first planted him because uh, we had a kind of a chilly night and he didn't make it, but come on, he's doing real well. You can see he's, you know, barely holding on here with this root. Uh, cantaloupe. This weird barf looking spot is a fungus that has been growing in here and again I have no idea what kind of fungus this is. Is it toxic? I have no idea so I'll look that up uh, and see what I can find out. Uh, some purple basil and there's so far what I've been doing for a garden. Um, I've got some more uh, butterfly bushes and some pollinator gardens going on. But crazily enough, this uh, squash and tomatoes and eggplant, the bees love it over here too. Um, my grapevine coming along here, muscadine grapes, they'll be ripe and ready to go in the fall. Uh, so here's uh, something that I discovered about myself. I kind of knew this already. I love harvesting. I love picking, I love growing, I love picking, but I don't like making anything out of it. Uh, and so that's 
kind of been a challenge because I've got all this beautiful fresh food coming uh, and kind of need someone who wants to put together and make beautiful food out of this beautiful garden. Um, happy gardening.